uh, we have forms today now coming up for Vandergriff High School. Uh, he is the Zerg in the bottom right hand corner. Got it right that time. And in the top left corner, we have the Yellow Terran, the Schwartz, who beat Red Juice last round. Yeah, so uh, right now it's one to one. Uh, we are playing a best of seven, so it is going to be a bit longer. We have a. Uh, Whoever wins five first wins the entire series. So, uh, looks like you're gonna see what well, it is. There's no six pools so far, so yeah, it's standard. Um, this map is a bit weird for TVZ. Just uh, it's a little bit easier for Terran since uh, it is a bit more narrow in the uh, main parts of the map, and you can drop pretty easily. Uh, there are watchtowers; um, they can spot drops. But you can just go straight through the middle if they don't have anything positioned there. Although I do think Eddie will be positioning a overlord somewhere in the middle. He does like his map position. Yeah. Uh, you can definitely position an overlord on that uh, that cliff there in the middle of the map. So it looks like we're going to have a 15 hatch coming out of a Formus today. And uh, pretty standard from the ter pretty standard from the Terran. Um, looks like it's looks like a Reaper opening. If he's not going for a, uh, I didn't see the uh, timing on that gas. Okay, never mind. He looks like he's going for a um, early factory here. Uh, probably gonna pump out Hellions or Wood of Mines. And uh, maybe getting an expansion after that. These players are pretty even level. They're both gold players. Uh, we recently saw the Schwartz go for Marine Tank versus um, Red, Red Juice. Juice last game. Yeah. Spawn pulls about to finish here. Factory building for the Ontario, the Schwartz. And it looks like his gas was a bit late. He's not going to have 100 gas for the uh, speed here when the uh, spawning pool finishes. So yeah, it looks like the factory's going up. And we probably will see an expansion after that factory out of the Terran. So, uh, what do you think uh, Formus today is going to do here, uh, considering he saw last game? Um, if Formus today was watching the last game of the stream, he will probably know that the Schwartz is at least decent at his macro. He's, I mean, he's not great, but he's still got a decent macro, so he's going to have to try to keep up with him, which, as Zerg, he should be able to do pretty easily. Yeah. And I do know that he does like his Bane Wings if he can't break through the wall. Yeah, so if we see if uh, if we see him go for bio uh, tank here, which looks like he will be doing, uh, yeah, he is getting two more uh, barracks here. Um, so it, if... If he doesn't have a decent enough micro to split marines uh, when the, when the Baylands roll in, then we may see um, the Schwartz just out of that. But uh, I'm 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 thinking he's going to do pretty well. Uh, it isn't as popular to go for a marine tank in a TVZ as it is to go for Widow mines. I feel the Widow mines are better. I, pre I, so I myself prefer tanks over Widow Mines, but I've started going Widow Mines more now just because it is the better strategy. This is the better build. Widow Mines do do a lot more damage to the really light armored. Yeah, and they're units. a lot less expensive. And they're much cheaper. Much, much easier to move into position. There's no. The, the, the time compared to the Siege Tank is a, a lot smaller, especially with um, Drilling Claws. Although, the only problem with the Widow Mines is the rate of fire, they have to recharge after every shot. Yeah. So, other than that, there's not... This, the Widow Mines are a little better against Zerg, I would say. Yeah. Siege tanks are becoming less popular uh, in this matchup. Looks like he will be going for like a Marine Rada mix with a couple Siege tanks. Uh, so that may be a, a better idea instead of um, Marine Tank. 
He is also getting an expansion here, so you'll see that float down fairly soon. And it uh, looks like Formosaday is getting a third here. Uh, starting 1-1. One, one. Oh, it looks like he might be going uh, Roach Hydro here. And then transitioning to Viper. But he yeah. is also getting, um... He's also getting... He also has a Bane Lingus, so that is... And he is getting the hooks. It's strange. And he did cancel his uh, Carapace upgrade, so that's strange. Only getting, um... Ranged attack. Ah, uh, he has... Again. You have yeah. Um, he's breaking down these uh, rocks. So Mr. Day does have overlords around the outside expansions in that He does not have any vision down the middle. So a drop straight down the middle could very well work. Yeah, especially in this map, since the watchtowers are so spread out. Um, and maps like Neo Planet, there's no watchtowers at all, so you can just go straight through the map if uh, the Zerg player doesn't have Overlord's position in there. So, it is pretty vital to have Overlord's position in certain places uh, all around the map. But it looks like uh, the rocks are broken down now. He's uh, tra transferring some drones to his third. So his economy is going to get pretty pretty beastly here. Um, he does have a couple Bane Lings and a couple Lings. And uh, he might start pumping out a, a ton once uh, he has a good enough drone count. Uh, looks like he has 74 at the moment, so... Uh, his drone count is pretty good. Um, Compared to the Schwartz, his work count is much higher. Schwartz is on 31 SCBs yeah. compared to the 74, so... There's a major... And he is just, um, he's just landing um, his natural soul. Yeah. Alright, looks like uh, he's getting his 5th and 6th gas here. And uh, we do see a scan from the Schwartz. He, has scanned the he may push out here soon because of uh, how small this force he saw. He has seen everything. And he is taking advantage. He is moving out. Alright, so we do see a uh, Spire going up, almost finished. And we also do have a Roach more now, but no, uh, oh, we have Anne Roach. <laughs> Anne. Coming out. Screw English. And, uh, looks like he's got some Wintermines positioned outside of his, uh, oh. his natural. Oh, he almost ran into that. He almost ran right in. How? He's gonna activate it with one, uh, lane. How did he see that? I think, uh, with his open he saw that, them drilling in. Oh, here come the bandings. Here they come. They're oh, they're the hitting against tank. the siege tank. That's another oh, thing. Oh, hit the marines, but it's not enough. Yeah, he's still the, the marauder still tanked it a bunch, so Run he's gonna have trouble here doing with this forest if he doesn't pump out some of now. We have we do have thirty four zerglings coming out though. So. Yeah, so if that overseer can survive. Oh nope, he has ignored the overseer, and he's, he's heading straight for the natural. Oh. He's hitting a couple banelings now, but. These, uh, no, these Marines and Rockets are going to clean up these Zerglings pretty well. No, I think uh, yeah, yeah, they're going to trade pretty, pretty yeah. evenly. Um, although, that uh, that pressure that uh, the Schwartz put on wasn't really significant enough because um, Formicidae had also had already re reached his uh, optimal drone count, so he wasn't really trading any units for, um, any, uh, for any drones, so... Small attack on the Yeah, it looks like he's going to be countering. And here comes but I don't think it's going to do much. Oh, there's a lot of tanks. Three siege tanks, so this yeah. could be obliterated <laughs> pretty quickly. His army is on all over the place. And. Okay. Let's see, he's got Banelings rolling in the back. Not really keeping up. Oh, those there were just got. Yeah, they, they were falling. They just melted right there. Yeah. So uh, he's he's pretty he's pretty contained at the moment. Um, although Formicidae does have the better economy, and he does have mutas out. So if if he plays very carefully with those, he could take out. Yeah, especially uh, with the new generation regeneration and uh, speed or acceleration, I guess. He take out some SCVs. But it looks like we do have a couple more mutas on the way. He's going to be going for harass here soon. Yes. 
And uh, something. I don't think uh, our Terran player has engineering base. Yeah, so this is going to be a problem for the Terran player uh, to deal with. And it's going to be pretty tough. Uh, Mito is harassed without missile turrets. Um, he does have stim, so that's good. But without missile turrets, um, Mito is harassed. It's going to be pretty significantly annoying. And could take out a lot of workers. So we do see a 2-2 two -two and plus one attack from the Spire coming out here. And uh, we might see a transition into Vipers uh, to deal with those siege tanks or Ultralisk, but there are a lot of Marauders incorporated into this Terran force. Yeah. I have seen Lewis that use Vipers before. He does, he does use them, but he's, I, from what I've seen, he's not very good at using them efficiently. He can, he, he pulls things, but he doesn't pull them too much. One side looks like we have a Mulus coming here to harass the uh, mate. We've got eight, nine workers killed now. Uh, yeah, we're 17 already. Yeah, so that's doing a pretty pretty good job at a oh, devastating economy. The, oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, the Schwartz is just losing so many workers here. Yeah, and he hasn't just... really taken any damage on those mutas. And, uh, that's the problem there. He does have engineering base. It looks like he's gonna snipe him though. Oh, there goes those upgrades. And while he's repositioning, it looks like there's a force of links coming out here. Oh, this is this, this is could very be bad. Smart. Yeah, very smart. If he doesn't, if he doesn't get those tanks into position, he could take out the natural easily. Oh, all right, everything's moving back to the front of the base. There's a Widowmine getting in position though, but he's going to get taken right. out. He has seen the Zerg he needs to siege those tanks now. And oh man, that is a massive. Oh. Hit. So. Although Marines are still, there are a lot of Marines there still alive, so Mutalists can't really do much. Two tanks in that. Yeah, and Which he's still sacrificing some ones for that army. And, I uh, think right now, for should be targeting those tanks and taking advantage of how quickly he can build Zerg tanks. Yeah, and uh, he needs to he needs to expand or something because he's on a lot of minerals at the moment. He does have seven thousand minerals. <laughs> he is so very, looks like our Terran players gonna be pushing out here. Very behind in that. Well, he hasn't really a creep spread at all. He hasn't been. He hasn't really been doing much. He's focusing on very, very Yeah, the, his creep spread is pretty bad at the moment. But uh, right now, the Terran player is pushing into the third. And so he's taking out the Cutting those tanks. Banelings are hitting against the tanks. So that is a problem. And Banelings rolling in on the. Bio and Marines are still alive, and those Moodles are going to get taken out really easily if he doesn't move. Yeah, this is going to go well. Marines coming from behind, and there go the Moodles. He's, he's using his drones to attack, attack, but he's going to lose a lot of workers here. Oh, yeah. Yep. The drone count just dropped. So he's sort of evening it out in a moment, but the drones are pretty here terrible come. compared to SCDs. Oh, here come the Zerglings, and. It does look like he's going to pick up his units. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to hold it off, but barely. I feel like uh, he's, his, a lot of his larva was wasted on those zerglings that he didn't need at the moment. And he's oh, going to need to start building up his uh, drone economy sitting again. sitting there. I'm not sure why this one's is doing that. If Eddie, or the former snake, saw that, then that tank would just be lost. Luckily, he is not washing it. That is a lot of drones being uh, transferred to the third. Gosh. And there is a little bit of pressure going down. Lost drones if he doesn't react to the Marines and the tank. He does have uh, 11 mainlings being built on the way. Um, but this this force, oh, yeah, this force is going to be taken off pretty easily. Uh, there are some Marines coming in, but it's not going to do much. And there's the tanks. There's the mainlings. Yeah, mainlings are going to hit. You should at least try there's to sacrifice these Marines to take out some mainlings. But uh, it looks like his rally point was just set to the third, and uh, he missed rally some of his marines. Yeah, the Schwartz is able to build up a decently sized army fairly quickly. Yeah. So uh, he does not have tanks right now, so for mistake, does have a very good chance of pushing through that. Yeah. His, uh, his income at the moment is sixteen hundred compared to uh, oh wow, uh, looks like a they sort of evened out. But the Schwartz um, is catching up. He's actually ahead right now. Yeah. So it's it's pretty even right there. But so it looks the like the difference is still crazy. Twenty nine yeah. to sixty five. 
He does have his third base up, but he needs to start saturating that and getting an orbital up. And uh, looks like Forms of Day is expanding to his fourth base. And Schwartz is not building any SCDs or... I don't even think he's moving any over there. Yeah, Forms of Day is still on layer tech. He's getting his infestation pit. But uh, it's going to be a while until that's done. So we do have a scan from the Terran player, he sees everything. And uh, Formos today is just flying around as mutas. Let's see, he's... Our Terran player still needs to get some message threats up. He, uh, his bases are still really vulnerable to uh, mutant harass. And that is a very large horde of mutas. Against and uh, he still hasn't gotten 1-1 one, one yet. He's really behind in upgrades. He has one engineering bay left from that initial mutalist harass. But he hasn't done anything with it, so it's yeah. a complete waste right now. Although he is doing very well at spending all of his, uh, the choice is doing very well at spending all of his minerals. The problem is that he's getting a lot of minerals at the moment. That is the problem. His income is not, not as it should be. Looks like we'll have a lot of Marines come up here and try to destroy these mutas. A lot of them are going to get killed. Too many mutas to but kill. Yeah, there are a lot of mutas. He's going to take out this engineering bay, even though he's not really using it, but. So he need to get a couple SCV kills, but uh, these Marines are going to push him out of there. And the Marines, and he is... And he does have a lot of roaches and main coming in. Like. So it looks like uh, he may be able to push up here and just uh, outright kill him. Alright, Marines can, uh, are overextending quite a bit. Yeah, and especially with only two siege tanks, no widow mines, not really any AoE. He's gonna have a hard time dealing with these banings and roaches. Oh, yeah, that is gonna do so much damage yeah. if those marines don't get back in position. And I think he's just trying to draw what well, looks like he's, he's coming down. This is exactly the trap you do not want to fall for as Terran. Looks like he took out the uh, third base he's coming up into the natural now. Only one siege tank. He did take it out with his uh, new Oh, he's, and he's gonna be pushed up into this ramp. He doesn't uh, figure out some way to avoid this. Oh, oh my god, he took out a lot of that. Oh, there's the GG. GG. Junior Eddie clapping.